G'day, Josh here, back with another Chess Rush video. And if you've followed me on Instagram, you will have noticed that I've started dropping some season five uh, sneak preview content, some uh, some little spoilers, things that are going to be coming to the game. Uh, and one of the biggest additions, uh, it's a little bit confusing, is customized hero selection, essentially drafting heroes into the game uh, before you play a match. Now this is going to change the way Chess Rush is played. I, I don't know that it's going to be a massive change, but it will be a change. Uh, it's going to be in all modes across the board. So no matter what mode you are playing, whether it's ranked or uh, or not, it will be using this new addition, this new function. So I wanted to talk about exactly what the drafting of heroes will look like when season five does drop. So you are uh, ready to go full, you got full knowledge and uh, you can just jump straight into games and it won't be confusing at all. That being said, it is a slightly confusing topic without having season five in my hand to specifically talk you through it. So uh, I will do my best to explain it, but bear with me. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Now, I'm going to start off by explaining why it's happening. Uh, so we've got all of these heroes, right? And every season, there are more heroes that are coming. And although we don't know the exact details of Season 5's new heroes, the official Chess Rush account has been spoiling silhouettes. And so we know, I believe at this stage, at least three, but maybe more new heroes will be added to the game. And currently in game, uh, I think we have like 52 or 53 heroes all up at the moment. But we've had more heroes than that in the past. So I believe it's just five at this stage, but we've had the Dark Mage or Apocalypse. He was a legendary uh, undead sorcerer. We've had Starhorn, who was a furry sorcerer. We've had Firefur, who was a furry hunter. We've had uh, Ice Tusk, a warrior beast. And also we have had Totem Face, the first hero to go on holiday from the game. He was a goblin sorcerer back in the day. So a lot of sorcerers are uh, taking a short break from the game. But Tencent were trying to think through. We've got all these fantastic heroes in the game, but we're going to be keep bringing out new heroes. But we can't just have all of the heroes always available because as you continue to add heroes, the total pool gets more and more diluted and then it becomes harder and harder to three-star heroes, even harder to two-star heroes because you're looking, you're wading through more heroes to select from. So you really want somewhere between or somewhere around 52 heroes when you're playing the game but if you look at all of the heroes that have been available in chess rush there have been more than 52 to select from so rather than having heroes go on holidays for periods of time Tencent are going to be a, a, a trying a new approach essentially with with season five and that is all the heroes will be back in the game. You'll be able to scroll through the codex and see every single hero, the new ones and the ones that have gone on holiday coming back. And that means that there's going to be upwards of 60 heroes in the game that are available. So not all of them will be playable in any match. That's where the draft comes in. So my best guess is at this stage is it will probably be in the preparation section where you can come in here and customize your lineups. What you will end up doing is you will customize hero selection. And what that might look like is, let's say just for uh, the, let's say for ease of mathematics, there are going to be 60 total heroes in the game. I don't know the exact numbers. So all these are, are guesses, but I imagine that they're pretty close. They're, they're within the ballpark. So. 60 heroes in the game for you to choose from, but you're only going to be using, say, 52 of them in an actual match. So there's going to be eight heroes that you're not using. What that might look like is you will come into the, let's say, the preparation section. There'll be a section where you can customize, you can specifically draft heroes. Now, not all of the heroes are going to be available. So you're not going to be able to draft from all 60. There's going to be let's call it a shared pool. Um, and let's say there's 45 heroes. So I'm not sure how they're chosen, but let's say 45 random heroes 
from the game are considered to be in the shared pool. And what that means is that you can't actually draft them. They're not available to pick on the draft preparation screen. Uh, they are always available to all players, just like any game mode works just now, where there is a shared hero pool and everyone has access to that pool and all the heroes are available to all players. So there'll be a shared hero pool, let's say 45 heroes. 45 of the heroes in the game are always available in that shared pool. And then you are going, of the other 15 heroes that are left behind, you are going to select six of them and that will form your private pool. And I'll, I'll elaborate on what that means shortly. Now, there's 15 to choose from. You get to choose six. The way that the the way that you choose them, I, I do know this for a fact, you will choose one one cost hero, one two cost hero, one three cost, one four cost, and one five cost or legendary. And the six hero will then be a wild card of your choice. So you get to choose another legendary if you want, or one cost, or whatever, whatever you would like to facilitate your strategy. It's interesting because I think a lot of people will be like, oh, I'll choose another legendary for sure. And that might be a good choice, but adding another legendary to your private pool actually dilutes the chances of finding legendaries overall because there'll be more legendaries in your pool. Uh, so anyway, so let's let's talk about how the uh, the shared pool of 45 heroes or thereabouts and your private pool of six heroes are going to work. So when you jump into a game, you select the heroes that, you've, that you're drafting for that game and... The shared pool of 45 heroes will be available to all players and each player will have their own private pool of the six heroes that they drafted. Now, in terms of how it's gonna look in the shop, you won't notice a difference between shared and private. It's all gonna be mixed up, jumbled together, shuffled together, and you'll be randomly seeing any of the 45 shared heroes or any of your six private heroes obviously depending on what level you are and when those rarities become available and the percentages of those and things like that. But it does mean that the six heroes that you choose, they're not available to anybody else unless they also choose a matching hero. So let's say I choose Ice Tusk as my one cost hero. Let's say he's available to draft. He's one of the removed heroes. So I draft him as my one cost and then I jump in and... Um, Actually, let's choose a hero that is in the game, Banger. Let's go with Banger. So I choose Banger. I draft him as my one cost hero. Somebody else also drafts Banger as their one cost hero. So I have Banger in my private pool. They have Banger in their private pool. They won't be the same Banger. So I will have my copies. They will have their copies and they won't actually compete with one another with one another so what that means is if multiple people do actually pick banger then there's more likelihood of three star bangers popping up because we're not competing for that hero so i think that is really important when drafting heroes not only is it going to be working towards your overall strategy your end game builds that you're keeping in mind but the six heroes that you add to your private pool that you draft you're going to have more chance of three-starring those heroes because you're not competing with anyone else for those specific private heroes. It's just the shared heroes that everyone has access to um, that it essentially is going to be like the game is played now. Everyone has access to it. Everyone's competing to three-star those heroes. But the private heroes, no competition for those. Even if someone else chooses a matching hero, they will have their own private pool copy of that. You will have your own private copy of that. So that's really interesting. Um, an, an initial concern has been that selecting six heroes before you go into a game is really going to pigeonhole your strategy and you're not going to be as flexible. Um, and that does have some merit to it. But I think overall, it's only six heroes and there's still another 45-ish heroes to choose from. And let's say you get to level 10 in the game. You're only, you've only got 10 heroes on the board there's still 40 or more heroes you're not using. So there's still going to be plenty of room to be flexible, but it might actually freshen up the meta a little bit because not only are people going to be choosing different heroes, you're going to have games with more than 52 heroes in it because you might choose one hero, another person chooses a different hero. So it's going to be really exciting in that regard that people will have access to heroes that others don't because they didn't select them. It also... Um, potentially 
allows Tencent to freshen up the meta quite regularly, maybe weekly, maybe every couple of weeks. They can swap out the heroes that are draftable and those that are not. And that'd be really interesting as well. Let's say Sorcerers are getting way too strong, then maybe you take Sanzang and Lightbringer and make them selectable heroes. But you could only choose one of them because they're both four cost. So you have to choose, do I take Sanzang, do I take Lightbringer, and do I use my six wildcard spot to then take the other one? So there's lots of really interesting interactions and lots of interesting potential with that going forward. I just cannot wait to have access to all of the heroes back in the game again. It's really hard to know the exact pros and cons of this new interaction in the game, but I think... Number one, it's a fantastic sign that Tencent are being so innovative. I really like that. And number two, I think it's just going to really liven up the meta and it's going to be really, really fun. It's definitely got me super, super excited for season five. So I guess just to recap before I wrap up the video, there's going to be a customized hero selection in season five of Chess Rush where you will select six heroes to add to your private pool. They will not be available to anyone else. They will only be available to you unless someone else specifically picks those heroes. You won't be able to choose from all of the heroes in the game, only a small subset, and the ones that you are not able to choose will be available as the shared pool for everyone in the game. Those will get combined, and then that's how the game will play out. So once you've made your selections, the game will actually play out fairly similarly with the exception of you'll have more chance of three-starring the heroes you chose which is a good feeling. Three-starring heroes is a good feeling. So I like the fact that everyone is probably going to have one or two heroes that are more more easy to three-star towards the end game. So that's a really good feeling, but it's consistent. Everyone has access to that. So there's no imbalance in that. Uh, so it's really, I'm, I cannot wait to see how this uh, affects the game, how it affects different modes. It is going to be in ranked, in casual, in all of the various game modes. Um, I hope I've I've done justice to what that new system is going to look like. I've got a fair bit of information about it. I've talked through this a lot with uh, some of the developers at Tencent. And a big shout out to Naomi or Tofu on the official Discord server. She's been really, really helpful um, in sort of talking through this with some of the partnered content creators so we can really wrap our heads around it before everyone has access to it. Uh, keep an eye out on my channel over the next week. I will be dropping early preview content for season five. So make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. As I touched on earlier, any questions or anything that I didn't uh, clarify properly for you, please leave a comment down below. And if you did like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, I'll see you later.